And so, while I will offer you much optimism this evening, it is my duty to acknowledge the fact that uh, the hill that we have to climb has gotten so much taller. And I didn't know that was possible. I'm amazed. I'm absolutely amazed by our ability to make things less easy than they should be. Because it shouldn't be very hard. But you know what? It shouldn't be very hard to have single-payer Medicare health care for all. And I invite you, any of you who are on the internet, <coughs> to go to YouTube and listen to Paul Ryan's explanation from yesterday for why they want to get rid of Obamacare. And his explanation is, I'm not making this up, he had a pie chart. This was after he was unable to explain what insurance was. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's amazing thing about Paul Ryan. This is the incredible thing about Paul Ryan. Blows my mind. Paul Ryan, I'm absolutely convinced, is what dumb people think a smart person sounds. <laughs> Other explanation for why they call him a lump. <laughs> you know, I mean, this guy it is, this is a terrible, painful struggle for him. And I mean, literally, he was struggling to identify what insurance was the other day and not doing well. Um, but yesterday he had a chart on. And the chart had, it was a circle. This woman here is nodding, you may have seen it. It was incredible. And there's a circle, and down at the bottom, there's a little wedge in it. It's like about your size. You know, if you said, give me a small piece of pie. So, you know, a little wedge down there. And Paul Ryan goes, these folks down here, they're the people that are really sick. They've got pre-existing conditions. They've got real health problems, real challenges in their lives. Everybody else around here, they're not so sick. Well, the problem with Obamacare was that it was trying to make all these people who aren't so sick pay in to help the people that are sick. Yes, yeah. and there's a lot more of them, right? You know, and, 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 and so Paul Ryan's thing was, Paul Ryan's thing on this was why he was against it, was because, see, we're, we're, spreading the responsibility around to all these people, and that's bad. You see, the problem is, that's not bad. That's, and I'm not going to insult anybody in the room, I know we have many religious traditions, that's Christianity, right? That's yeah. Judaism, right. that's Islam. That is every great religion ever created. If you have people with a lot, you give some to those who don't have a lot. And Paul Ryan, whose religion still seems to be on run, rather than anything, anything more <laughs> rational, Paul Ryan thinks that is wrong. And I am so glad that they've got him out explaining things. <laughs> because brothers and sisters, I, I am not in the camp that says we ought to silence our opponents ever. <laughs> when they've got the intellect and the skills of Paul Ryan, I say you put them on 24-7 you let them explain it. Because there is not a single decent, moral, useful human being that could have listened to Paul Ryan's explanation of why he doesn't want health care for all that would side with him over those of us who say that health care is a human right. Okay.